Today's video needs a little bit of an introduction because it's long, longer than I anticipated. Turned up another Blue Sound Node 2i. It didn't go as smoothly as the other two did. A lot of the videos in real time, so if you're looking to see how to do something, you actually see how long it takes for that thing to respond. I'm gonna put it into chapters, so you can just click on whatever you want to see what you want instead of having to dredge through the whole thing. So that being said, take it away, Stevo. Welcome to today's video. Today's video, I've purchased my second used consumer electronics device. I bought a second Blue Sound Node 2i. The first one I bought from Amazon, certified factory refurbished. I couldn't find them on Amazon anymore, so I went with eBay. So I bought one off of eBay, and we'll see what it looks like. Uh, I can already tell you, they shipped it in the regular box without a box on top, and I can already feel that this box is kind of crushed. We'll see what the thing looks like inside. Well, uh, I'm not happy with the shipping. I would expect the electronic component, even though it's in this box, should be in a separate box for extra protection. Because uh, it looks like somebody was walking all over this thing. Let's open it up and see what we got. Insides look good. This box kind of beat. It's only got the cords. This is the container that's got the beauty in it. This does have everything in it that came with the original manufacturer, all the cords. This does have the factory sock that it came in. I do have to say she's come out unscathed. It looks brand new out of the box. All right, this box reminds me of an order I just got from B&H Photo. I ordered two Seagate SSD drives for my NAS. They just took the boxes, they put them in a bag, shipped them here, and they showed up in the same condition. But Seagate has an internal protection device to keep the thing from getting smushed, kind of like the blue sound, although those are hard plastic. This is just kind of soft cardboard, but it made it. Now that this thing is cosmetically beautiful, we're going to go in and give it the electronics test to make sure it operates 100% correctly. Like they say, you can put lipstick on a pig but it's still a pig. We'll take this inside, get this blue sound set up because I've got this on ethernet so I gotta put in the network shares. We'll get the wireless set up. I have one already on ethernet. This will be the second one on ethernet. So I'll have two separate rooms. These will go individually, play whatever it is you wanna play or you can group them so you have the same music in all the rooms. So let's get this up and running. Now we have this unit sitting on the counter. We're just gonna plug in the AC power cord to get this powered up until we get a green light in the display saying it's in hot spot, ready for setup. Solid green light means it's telling me it's ready to be programmed. So now we're going to open the Blue Oats app. Here's a quick note. We have a purple indication right now. And what happened is I got sidetracked while this was hotspot mode. After 15 minutes, the hotspot mode times out and we get the solid purple color. So you can either press the pause play button for five seconds or you can unplug the player and plug it back in. We'll hold the press pause for five seconds.
Okay, we're back in hotspot mode. Now we're gonna open the Blue Ops app. There's our new node right here. Now we're gonna connect it to Wi-Fi. Okay, we got the password in there. I suspect that once this connects, it's gonna go right into a software for a firmware update. We're gonna change the name. All right, we got the name of the player in there. Continue. We have successfully connected. So now we'll see what happens. Okay, we don't even need to do a firmware update. We've gone solid blue, although the remote saying we're looking for an upgrade. Let's see if it finds an upgrade. Okay, now we're going into a firmware update. Now we're installing the firmware update. Once it's all done, it should go back to solid blue. Looking for Wi-Fi again. We're back to solid blue. This is 100% ready to go. It's in operational mode. Now we're gonna add a network share. We'll copy our share. Paste it. We're going to add it. We've got our share. Both of the shares are added. You'll notice that the blue sound is now white. Now we have library up here. So we do have a library now. It's indexing a library. 
Uh, we are indexing the music collection. It's already processed 8,500 songs. Once it's all done, that'll turn blue again. The re-index music collection is complete. We got a blue indication. Let's go hook it up to the audio gear. Right now we got the blue sound, Ethernet to the switch, into the sound bar. So now this is the library player in the library, hence all the books. Now we got the Pooty Palace player in the cabinet because of all the statues. All right, so we're gonna sit in the middle. We got the library over there. We got the Pooty Palace over here. And we're gonna fire up that new blue sound and get some music going. We're gonna open the Blue Os app. We're looking for players. Now if we come down here, we have two players. We got the Pootie Palace player, we got the library player. The library player is a player we just added and we have ourselves some um, uh, supersonic blues machine queued up here. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna kick, click play on that. So we can turn that down. Now we come over here. We'll click the Pootie Palace player. We got some Charlie Daniels queued up on this one. We'll hit play on this one. Right now, everything's working. And now we can group these players also. That's a different video. Library player is all here. Got our music services, got the code buzz, we got Tidal, we got Sirius XM. I have Rune. Rune is a really cool music server software. That will be the next video because Rune looks at your music library, it looks at code buzz, it looks at Tidal, and when you search for something, it goes to all three places to play your music. You'll never run out of music. Right now, that new Blue Sound Library player is up and running 100%, so this definitely is not a lipstick pig. Finally have success. Everything works. I'm on a lot of audio forums, you know, when people complain, I can't get this to work, I can't get that to work. Well, my first two turned up like that. Not a problem in the world. However, the first one I turned up, I used my Windows 10 desktop, which was on Ethernet while the Blue Sound was on Ethernet. So I don't know why the Windows 11 laptop trying wirelessly that that Blue Os app would not find that player. I tried for 10 minutes. I rebooted the laptop. I rebooted that node. That Blue Os app on that Windows 11 computer wirelessly would not detect that new player. Phone, that Galaxy S9 got it like that. So I've programmed two of them with a phone and one with the desktop on Ethernet. So I, uh, I don't know. So hopefully this helps somebody out. In closing, I will say this. Retirement is wonderful. I hope you yourself make it to retirement one day because it is all cracked up to what they say it is. So cheers to nice and cold gin and tonic. Oh, that's so tasty. Now we have two node two eyes up over here with Rune, Tidal, Cobas. Next video will be how to integrate the three because there are some quirkinesses that go on with that. Well, thanks for watching. Take care. Have a great weekend. See ya.